Hey guys, Meow It's Cat here, and welcome to the 200 subscribers special. So today, after we're getting all your comments in, I have a winner, and we're going to be rooting Dobby today. This story is called First Encounter on my Wattpad account, Casual Anime Girl. So a link will be down in the description below. And secondly, I wanted to say thank you for 200 subscribers, and we are already very close from 300. So it would be greatly appreciated if you can all comment down below who you'd like me to read for the 300 so I can get that um, video out at a reasonable time rather than this one because this is coming in pretty late. But thank you so much again and I will hope you enjoy the story. Japan was a whole new world to you. You were only living out here for a few weeks with some family friends who kindly took you in when they found out you would be attending UA in the Hero Course. You were exploring the streets trying to become familiar with your new surroundings that would be around you for your high school years. You were suddenly pushed off the sidewalk and into an alleyway, trying to deal with larger crowds out in public than what you were used to was very difficult. You sighed to yourself and began walking deeper into the alleyway hoping that it would take you somewhere back into a crowd to a different sidewalk. This hadn't been the first time you had done this. Only hearing distant crowds in your shoes against the concrete was a nice calm feeling, a lot better than being in the crowds with the chaos. As the sun was setting and you were trying your fastest to find a way back to get some light, you turned the corner only to freeze in your tracks to see a man down on his knees coughing uncontrollably. You quickly walked over to the man. Are you okay? You ask, very concerned, bending down to get a closer view. The man looked up at you with his intense blue eyes, and his face that seemed to be held together by staples. You then noticed the blood on his hands that he had seemed to cough up, and with no hesitation, you hand him your handkerchief. He looks at it for a moment. It's alright. Please take it. You need it more than me, you say, giving him a gentle smile. He hesitantly takes it as he begins having another coughing fit. You look around your surroundings to see a few boxes off to the side. Would it be alright if I helped you over there? You ask, pointing toward the direction. Why the hell do you want to help me? He snaps back at you. This cut you off guard. Well, because it looks like you need some help. Good thing I found you, huh? You say, giving him a larger smile than the last. He tries to get up but fails to do so. Please, will you let me help you? You ask, concerned, least in your voice. He just nods at you and you help him up and over to sit down on the boxes. I'm a listener. May I ask your name? You ask, kneeling down to look up at him. Can you not treat me like a damn kid? He spat back at you. Your eyes widened. Oh, no, I'm sorry if it came off that way, you exclaim, waving your hands in front of you. Dobby, he says hesitantly. You give him a bright smile. Well, Dobby, it's very nice to meet you. Can I help you with anything, like getting you something to drink or eat, you ask? There's a convenience store around the corner, he says simply. Okay, I'll be right back, you say, jogging off. It's that way, he said, pointing toward the direction. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you say, jogging off in the correct direction. You walked in and began looking around for stuff to buy, while grabbing everything you thought about his appearance. His black hair, intense blue, amazing eyes. You quickly smack your face, trying not to think about those eyes. You did it again and shook your head, trying not to get distracted. However, the one thing that concerned you was his skin. It looked extremely painful, and a lot of it was obviously burned and put together by staples. What could have possibly caused such damage to his skin? You checked out and began walking back. However, you were stopped by some pro hero. Miss, I don't think it's such a good idea to be going down that alleyway. A villain has been active around here, the pro says to you. No, it's okay, really. I'll be fine. I'm just taking this to someone who's ill, you say. I can take you there, miss, the pro replies. N no, no, no. It's okay. They're just right around the corner, you say with a smile. All right, but be careful, the hero replies, walking off. You walk back in there was Dobby still sitting there. He almost fell into the shadows too well. And back, you say, placing the bag beside him and taking a seat on another box. That took a while, Dobby says, looking through the bag, grabbing a water bottle. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't sure what to get, and I was talking to some pro, you reply, rubbing the back of your neck. Dobby looks up at you. What did they want, he asks. He offered to walk me back here, but I told him it was fine. 
These sort of villains been active around here, you reply. Dobby chuckled. Villains are always active. Pros just don't notice as much if it isn't that big of a deal, he says trying to find something else in the bag. That sounds pretty bad. I hope no one's getting severely injured by it, you reply concerned. That's probably the case. They probably killed some people. Pretty scary world out there, huh? He says with an intense glare at you. You held your gaze at him. That's really sad more than scary. To just take people's lives away from them and take someone from others who love them dearly and never get to say goodbye? That's the worst part of it all. You say, trying to hold back the tears in your eyes. Dobby looked at you surprised by the response. Even if that person who died did something horrible, he questioned you. Everyone deserves to at least have closure, even the ones who killed them. Otherwise, it's just too hard to feel at peace. You say, finally not being able to hold your tears anymore. As the tears fell, you wiped them away quickly as you could. <laughs> Sorry, it's just upsetting to me. Someone who does that to others must be hurting in some way or another. You reply, giving him a smile, trying to stay strong. Dobby looked down. Yeah, I guess so, he says. You nod and look around the alleyway. So what are you doing around here, you ask. Taking some shortcuts, he replies. Oh, you know this area well then? I've been trying to figure it out. I'm new here and I'm still trying to figure out my way around, you say, sneaking out some food from the bag quietly. Dobby watched you as you slowly opened the treat and took a bite of it. He then raised an eyebrow at you. Sorry, I'm hungry, you reply with your mouth full. Yeah, I can see a foreigner from a mile away, he replies with a chuckle. You huff and begin chewing your food fast out of frustration. So what are you doing out here anyway? Vacation or something, he asks. You perk up and swallow the rest of your food. I'll be intending you a high in the hero course, you say enthusiastically. Dobby stops what he's doing and gives you another intense yet eerie glare. So you want to be a hero, he asks. You begin to feel nervous. Uh, yeah. I want to be able to help people and protect people who can't defend themselves. Many people in my life have no quirks or do, but it isn't suited to defend themselves. That's what motivates me. You say, shifting on the box. Dobby leans in, invading your personal space. And what, stop villains and look great to the public, he says to you? Oh, well, I do care about my image, but I want to come off as a positive person. As long as I can help somewhere, that's what matters most. And for villains, it would be nice to one day meet in the middle about some things they want. But when they go after people who can't protect themselves, I want to help, you reply, taking another bite. Dobby leans back. That's interesting, he says. I guess one side thinks this way and the other side might think a different way. It would be nice if we could meet in the middle, you say, moving your arms around, try to express your point. Dobby grabs the bag and stands up, causing you to jump to your feet. This caused Dobby to look down at you with a confused and slightly irritated expression. Sorry, I was afraid you would fall back down, you say, looking away with a slight blush of embarrassment rising to your face. Dobby pats your head and you look up at him with your face going redder. Meet me here tomorrow around the time the sun sets, he says, looking into your eyes. Why? You squeak out. I'll show you around, he says, and begins walking off. You, with no hesitation, run up and grab his wrist. Wait! You shout, causing him to look back at you. What now? He replies. Make sure you get home safe and stop and take a break if it takes a while to get back, you say, looking at him and let go. Dobby blinks at you a few times, trying to come up with some type of response. I will. Make sure you do, too. Don't want to fall into the eyesight of a villain, future hero, he says with a small smile. He walks off into the distance, giving you a wave. You smile glad to finally make a new, interesting friend. Well, I all hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for my future uploads. And if you have any character you would like me to read about, leave it down below in the comments, and I will definitely look into it. And until next time, I will see you all later.